Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews. So I see this uh, thing in Bounding Into Comics. Marvel Studios and Marvel Comics turn transgender child into superhero. Normally I wouldn't have a problem with this, folks. Except that it, or except for one word, that makes it a problem. Child. My person... These, what I'm about to say is my own personal beliefs. I do not, I am not going to say the beliefs of anybody else. I am simply going to state my own beliefs. And if you think that I am a bigot or anti-LGBTQ, you can get the hell off my page. Because guess what? I am not. I support the LGBTQ community. But there are parts of it that I do not support. Such as transgender transitioning of children meaning if you are a minor you would and you are in my family we would not let you transition until you were an adult and living on your own we would respect your pronouns and whatnot but we would not let you transition until you are on your own but for kids under man for kids to be saying that they feel like this. How do parents know that that is not just a passing phase? I'm not saying it is for every kid. Don't get me wrong. But I am simply saying that if a kid has gender dysphoria or gender identity disorder where they do not understand their own gender identity, which they are born as, maybe they should seek help in trying to understand it instead of saying, well, I could be this or that. If you're born a girl, you're a girl. If you're born a guy, you're a guy. I'm sorry, that's actual science. And if parents are doing this, are allowing kids under the age of 10 or 13 even to say, I'm a boy when they're a girl or I'm a girl when they're a boy, that is child abuse, in my opinion. So let's get into this article from Bounding Into Comics. I wanted to make my point clear before I got into it, so now that it is, let's get into it. Marvel Comics superheroes partner or studios partnered to turn transgender child activist Rebecca into Marvel superhero named Mighty Rebecca. Marvel Studios documented Rebecca's transgender activism in New Jersey in their Marvel's Hero series that airs on Disney+. Plus. As more of their political pandering, by the way. Rebecca partnered with Garden State Equality to campaign for the New Jersey legislature to mandate LGBTQ history curriculum in public schools. The bill was passed and signed into law by New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy. It goes into effect next year. The advocate, or the advocate reports, the episode shows Rebecca as a role model for other young trans people in a support group and a singer in her Christian church, where her father is a pastor. Along with documenting Rebecca's transgender activism, Marvel Comics turned the child into, or the child activist, into a superhero. In an interview with The Advocate, Rebecca told them about the comic. I was speechless. I was like, oh my gosh. And then I looked at the comic and I was like, how did they do all this? I was just really astonished. Rebecca then talked about the character's superpower. I think my power is acceptance because I accept everyone for their differences. And I can empower and tell other people that everyone is the same and there's nothing wrong with LGBTQ kids. You know what? Call me old-fashioned, but acceptance is not a superpower. For it to be a superpower, it has to be something extraordinary that not every human can do. And by what I mean by every human, I mean one or two humans are able to do it, and, not, and the rest are unable. It's not a superpower. 
I'm starting to think that Marvel is starting to forget what superpowers are. I mean, also, LGBTQ kids. Until a kid is fully mature, sexually mature and developed, how the hell do they know what their sexual preference is, what their gender identity is, and whatnot? Yes, this sounds bigoted, folks. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It sounds bigoted, but I guarantee you it is not bigoted. I have members of the freaking LGBTQ community in my family. I support their decisions 100%. But guess what? None of them transitioned at a young age because they understood that doing so would be considered child abuse. And I think that it is child abuse. There are multiple things that tie this into politics, but I'm going to keep my political views out of it. I believe that transgenderism into children is wrong. There are freaking scientific studies that prove most kids that do the hormone therapy end up committing suicide shortly after transitioning at a young age. The puberty blockers and all that. They all damage the child psychologically to the point where they will have very suicidal thoughts and they will act on them. This is scientifically proven, folks. It is disturbing that Marvel and Disney is pushing this. I'm not, The kid can have their, her own opinion. She can... Uh, whatever. They make her into a superhero. That's fine. And... But... I'm sorry, I do not agree that child exploitation is an acceptable practice. I really don't. She then, or the New Jersey activists, or they talk about God and faith. Rebecca then detailed the message that they should take away from the episode. I want to tell trans kids that they're not alone, that there's nothing wrong with them, that they are people for them, and they should keep going them or being themselves no matter what. You're right. Be yourself. But here's the thing. Do not, or parents should not try transitioning their kids because how do you know that the kid might feel the same a few years later? How do you know that they will, or that they, do you know that they might change their mind? That is a part of human life, folks. This is a very disturbing thing. The official description reads, Rebecca's on a mission to shield LGBTQ youth from hate, making the world a safer place, or place for everyone. Well, here's the thing. I don't hate LGBTQ youth. I am concerned about LGBTQ youth because, yes, some of them do identify as gay or lesbian or trans or bi or whatever, but here's the thing. Wait and see if it is a passing phase. Do not push the idea onto them. By parents pushing them, saying, okay, if you identify your girl, you're a girl. You, how about you try doing what is right and saying, let's see what happens in the future. See if you truly believe what you are saying and whatnot. What is the harm in doing that? I am not, ag again, I am going to reiterate, I am not anti-LGBTQ. What I am against is using children to push these things and exploiting children when they don't know any better at that age. But before they are even 10 to 13 years old, they don't know any better. They don't, folks. I'm sorry, they don't. It is fact that they are not able to comprehend that kind of thing. It's just not that any parent who tries teaching them this, the friggin' Child Protective Services should look at them. It's ridiculous, folks, I'm telling you. Ever since 
political correct culture came or started making a boom and the political side started getting into it even more you have se- i have seen some very disgusting things when it comes to transgenderism and drag queen kids and all of that there have been some very disturbing trends i have seen and very pedophilic things that i have seen that are connected to cases like this and i got to say i am all for protecting children it is something that i have lived my life doing when it comes to a kid that is in danger of in any way i want to protect that child this kid rebecca is 8 freaking years old or 10 years old or whatever she's they don't really give her age but she said i first heard this at eight years old and i'm like well here's the thing you should learn a lot more about it spend years learning about it before you make a choice that will impact your life in a way that could end up killing you i'm telling you folks the ridiculousness of all this stuff is staggering. The fact that the government is pushing this kind of thing in an ex- as acceptable is disturbing. And I am not for it. If my kid if I ever have kids down the road and one of them is a boy that thinks he might be a girl, I will talk things over with them and I will say, "Well, here's what we're going to do. If you feel like you're a girl, you can feel like you're a girl. But here's what the truth is. You are a boy. You were born with a penis. You are a boy. Just because you feel like a girl, we don't know if that is something that you will continue feeling. So we will spend a few years and we will see if you change or not. I am not forcing my child to change. I am giving them the chance to go through this journey to see if they feel different any time later. And if they don't feel any different later, by the time they reach 18, they are old enough to take care of themselves, and then if they feel like they are a transgender or whatever, then my child, I will support him him or her, and I will say, it is up to you whether you want to transition. I will never transition a child That is a child. That is a minor. It is wrong morally. It should be wrong legally. And any parent that does push this stuff into a child's head should be arrested and their child taken away for endangering the welfare of a child. Anyway, folks, this is very disturbing stuff. But they like to put it as superheroes fighting against intolerance. This isn't intolerance. Like I said numerous times already, I am not anti-LGBTQ. I am anti-child exploitation. And what they are, what Disney is doing and Marvel is doing, it is wrong. And I think that it should never be allowed. Anyway, folks, that is the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Do you support Disney and Marvel's choice in exploiting children and sexuality and sexual identity and gender identity? Or do you think, like me, that this is something that they should do and that they should push this on kids to do things like that? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you disagree with me, feel free to share your comments. I will engage with you. If you do it in a civil manner. If you call me a heartless bigot on my channel's comment section, I will simply block you from my page because I will not allow you to smear my channel. I am not a bigot. I just believe that kids should not be exposed to this stuff at a young age. In fact, them thinking about stuff at such an age is not even their own thoughts. That's my opinion. They would have to hear it from somewhere else to even have that idea. 
Because I don't think that any kid at a young age would be thinking about gender identity. Anyway, folks, that is the video. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. I'll catch you all on the next one.